globe time to warm up in ad 2 ptolemy alexandria invented the system of latitudes and longitudes time to know earth is the only planet we know of in our solar system that humans can live on no other planet has oceans other life forms and enough oxygen to comfortably breathe shape of the earth in the beginning it was believed that the earth was flat people thought that if they traveled too far to the edges they would fall off this flat surface this image of the earth as flat was changed by the explorers like magellan and astronomers like copernicus today we know for certain that the earth is spherical what is a globe earth is a big planet it is not possible to see the entire earth from one place a globe is a small model of the earth by studying the globe we can study about the location and shape of continents and countries it helps us to know about the different oceans and seas we can study the formation of day and night and change of seasons on the earth axis a globe also shows how the earth rotates on an imaginary line passing through its center this line is called the axis at a time we can see only one half of the globe to see its other half we can turn the globe around on its axis the axis of the earth passes through two points on the earth known as north pole and south pole the north pole is the northernmost point of the earth and the south pole is the southernmost point of the earth equator it is an imaginary line that divides the earth into two halves upper half and lower half these halves are known as hemispheres the half of the earth above the equator is known as the northern hemisphere and the half below the equator is known as the southern hemisphere prime meridian it is an imaginary line that runs from the north pole to the south pole and divides the earth into the eastern and western hemisphere when joined with the imaginary line on the opposite side of the globe this line is known as the prime meridian latitude latitudes are imaginary horizontal lines drawn around the globe parallel to the equator each line of latitude is actually a circle latitudes are measured in degrees equator is a latitude which is at 0 degrees it is the greatest circle around the earth all latitudes above the equator are also labeled in degrees north and all latitudes below the equator are labeled in degrees south for example 30 degree north latitude or 30 degree south latitude respectively the north and south poles are points not circles longitude longitude run from north pole to south pole longitudes are closer to each other at the poles because they converge at the poles therefore they are not parallel to each other unlike latitudes these lines do not form circles longitudes are also known as meridians all longitudes are measured in degrees 
from the prime meridian which is at 0 degree longitudes are labeled east or west of the prime meridian to indicate whether a place is located in the eastern or western hemisphere time to recall a globe is a small model of the earth the equator divides the earth into two hemispheres northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere the lines running parallel to the equator are called latitudes or parallels the lines running from the north pole to the south pole are called longitudes or meridians time to answer for formative and summative assessment answer the following questions what is a globe how is a globe useful to us why are latitudes and longitudes drawn on the globe what is a prime meridian what is the axis of the earth what do you mean by the equator oral questions for fa fill up the following blanks using the clue kit a is a small model of the earth the lines running parallel to the equator are called latitudes or the lines running from the north pole to the south pole are called the earth is in shape the earth is our clue kit home spherical longitudes parallels globe study the given world map name the continents and oceans through which the following paths mapping skills equator tropic of capricorn tropic of cancer prime meridian match the following time to do project work for formative assessment create your own earth model materials painters smock newspaper sheets tape globe large styrofoam ball blue tempera paint green tempera paint black tempera paint or black marker paint brush procedure cover your table with several sheets of newspaper to protect it from the tempera paint tape the sides of the newspaper down so it doesn't slide around slip a painter's smock over your clothes so you don't end up with a new painted outfit put your styrofoam ball in the center of the newspaper place your globe somewhere nearby so that you can look at it for guidance whenever you need to look at the globe and find the seven continents asia north america south america africa antarctica australia and europe locate the four major oceans on your globe arctic ocean atlantic ocean pacific ocean and indian ocean using the north pole as a starting point paint the seven continents onto the styrofoam ball with green tempera paint try to keep it to scale make it proportional as best as you can paint the rest of the styrofoam ball with the blue tempera paint other than the seven continents the earth is filled with water 
set your styrofoam ball aside to dry. This may take a few hours, so you might want to plan to finish the project the next day. Paint the names of the four oceans and seven continents on the styrofoam ball with black tempera paint using the non-brush end of the paint brush to write with. If using paint is too tricky, write the names of the oceans and continents with a black marker. Set your earth model aside to dry one last time. Life skills. Human activity can leave a toxic toll on the planet and some of the worst affected species are humans. What is the cause of all this human tragedy? The cause is the exact same that pollutes and depletes the earth of all its natural resources and environment. The mismanagement of the earth planet due to the greed and outright stupidity of the so-called modern civilization.